Hey there, Louis Acabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a poll in a Microsoft Teams meeting before that meeting begins. Now this is useful where perhaps you're delivering a presentation or you're delivering training and you don't want to have to actually create that poll during the meeting. You don't want to have to put in the question and the responses. So you can actually go ahead and create those polls ahead of time and then just launch them at the appropriate time in your meeting, in your presentation. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll actually need to schedule your meeting. So you can see here that I have created an invite for Microsoft Teams training. Next, you'll want to click into the meeting that you want to create the poll in and you'll want to scroll up and click on the add a tab button here, the plus sign. And then you're going to go ahead and click on Microsoft Forms. And you're going to go ahead and click on add. Next, you want to click on save. And here's where you can actually come to create one or more polls for this particular meeting. And then once you create them, you can actually just launch them during your meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create new poll. And you can see here that I have two options. I can either create a multiple choice poll or I can create a multiple choice quiz. In this case, I'm just going to create a multiple choice poll. Next, you want to add your question. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste my question in here. How familiar with Microsoft Teams are you? And then you want to add your answer options. So I'm just going to put in my options here. If you want respondents to be able to select multiple answers and you want to go ahead and toggle this on, in this case, I only want respondents to be able to provide one response from my options here. And then you can go ahead and determine whether you want to share the results automatically after voting. So this will actually just display the results uh, right in the meeting chat. You can also determine if you want to keep your responses anonymous. And then this last option here says allow others to co-author. Essentially what this does is that you'll be able to access this poll while it's in draft state. So essentially that means before you actually launch it, you'll be able to come in here and see it. Once it's been launched, uh, all of the co-presenters could come into that poll and actually amend it um, after the fact if they wanted to. So what I'm going to do is just check this off. This way nobody else uh, can come in here and amend this poll. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now you can see within the polls tab of this meeting, you can see that this poll is in draft status. Uh, and you can see here that there is a drop down menu. And when I click on this, you have a few different options. Uh, if you wanted to delete this poll, you could go ahead and click on delete. If you want to actually amend this poll before the meeting, you can click edit poll and it's going to bring up the poll card that we just filled out. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And then when you're ready to actually launch this, you want to again come into this polls tab and click on the launch button. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and create another poll, you could do that by clicking on create new and then just create your second poll um, as we did the first one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and launch this meeting so that we can see how to launch a poll and so that we can just demonstrate what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click join. Okay, and so you can see here that I'm in this meeting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the actual meeting invitation and I'm going to go ahead and click launch. And you can see here that this poll has now been launched in the actual meeting. So I'll just go ahead and respond and click submit. And if I open the meeting chat as well, uh, you'll actually be able to see the poll being launched and people can vote either through the pop-up or through the chat card and they can see the responses in real time because we selected that option. Now, if I click out of the meeting window for a second and I come back into the polls tab of the meeting, uh, you can see here as well that you'll be able to see the responses and the other participants will be able to come in and see the responses um, as well. 
Now, if I wanted to actually close this poll, what I can do is click on the drop down menu and I can go ahead and click close. And what this is going to do is it's going to lock it down, meaning that uh, participants will no longer be able to actually respond to this particular poll. Now, just to demonstrate that, I will bring up my meeting window again, and you can see here that the poll is closed uh, and I can't actually submit my response because it is closed. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a poll in a Microsoft Teams meeting before the meeting begins. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like it and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Acobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.